The alarm clock buzzes at 6 a.m., sharp and insistent. It's a familiar sound in this housing development board flat, tucked away in a bustling neighborhood in Singapore. The Lee family is waking up, the aroma of toasted bread and kaya, a coconut jam already filling the air. Mr. and Mrs. Lee, both professionals in their late 30s, move with practiced efficiency, preparing breakfast and lunch boxes, while their two children, 10-year-old May and 8-year-old Jian, rub the sleep from their eyes. Breakfast is a cherished ritual, a moment of calm before the whirlwind of the day begins. Slices of kaya toast, generously slathered with the sweet and fragrant coconut spread, are a family favorite. Sometimes they indulge in nasi lemak, a fragrant rice dish cooked in coconut milk and pandan leaf, served with fried fish, peanuts, and spicy sambal. The children sip on Milo, a chocolate malt drink popular in Southeast Asia, while Mr. and Mrs. Lee savor their kopi, strong and sweet local coffee. As the sun streams through the kitchen window, casting long shadows across the colorful mosaic tiles, there's a palpable sense of purpose in the air. This is a family on a mission, driven by the values of hard work, education, and a deep-seated belief in the promise of their nation. Every action, every decision is imbued with a quiet ambition, a collective desire to build a better future for themselves and for Singapore. By 7 a.m., the Lee family is ready to embark on their daily commute, a microcosm of Singapore's vibrant multiculturalism. Mr. Lee, dressed in a crisp shirt and slacks, heads for the nearby mass rapid transit MRT station, his briefcase in hand. The MRT, a marvel of modern engineering, is a lifeline for millions of Singaporeans, whisking them across the city with speed and efficiency. Mrs. Lee, a teacher at a nearby primary school, walks young Jan to the bus stop before hopping on the train herself. May, old enough to navigate the MRT independently, joins her father, her school bag laden with textbooks and her mind buzzing with the day's lessons. The train car is a kaleidoscope of faces and languages a testament to Singapore's status as a melting pot of cultures. Chinese, Malay, Indian and Eurasian commuters stand shoulder to shoulder, their conversations a melodic blend of Mandarin, Tamil, English and Singlish, the city's unique colloquial dialect. The journey is a sensory experience. The air hums with the rhythmic clatter of the train, interspersed with snippets of conversations and the occasional busker's song. As the train zips past towering skyscrapers and lush green parks, one can't help but marvel at the juxtaposition of nature and urbanity that defines Singapore's landscape. The school bell rings at 7.30 a.m. sharp, signalling the start of another day of rigorous learning. Education is paramount in Singapore, a cornerstone of the nation's success story. May and Jian, dressed in their crisp school uniforms, join their classmates in the assembly hall, the Singaporean flag fluttering proudly in the background. The day is a whirlwind of lessons, from mathematics and science to languages and the arts. Competition is fierce, but so too is the emphasis on collaboration and respect. Meanwhile, Mr. Lee, a financial analyst, navigates the fast-paced world of Singapore's financial district. His days are filled with meetings, spreadsheets, and the constant pressure to stay ahead of the curve in a globally connected economy. Mrs. Lee, her classroom a symphony of young voices, guides her students through the intricacies of the English language, nurturing their curiosity and instilling in them the value of lifelong learning. Lunch is a brief respite, a chance to refuel and recharge. Mr. Lee often eats at his desk, a quick sandwich or a plate of chicken rice from the nearby Hawker Center, his only companions. Mrs. Lee and her fellow teachers gather in the staff room, sharing stories and a simple meal of rice, vegetables and meat or fish. May and Jan, their lunchboxes filled with their mother's loving preparations, eat with their classmates, the cafeteria abuzz with chatter and laughter. Despite the hectic pace of their lives, the Lee family cherishes these moments of togetherness, their bond strengthened by shared meals and the comforting rhythm of their daily routine. S1. Media, father talking and laughing at dinner table, family sharing stories over dinner. Mr. Lee shares a work anecdote. Mrs. Lee discusses her students' latest antics, and May and Jan excitedly describe their school projects. Narrator, media, children excitedly talking at dinner table, family members sharing school projects during dinner. The conversation flows easily, a mix of Mandarin and English, as they recount the day's events. S3. Media, family conversing in Mandarin and English, family chatting at dinner table in Singapore. A steaming bowl of laksa, a spicy noodle soup, adds a fiery kick to the meal. S2. Media. Steaming bowl of laksa on dinner table, spicy noodle soup being served. Tonight, Mrs. Lee has prepared a feast of chicken rice, a Singaporean staple, the succulent chicken cooked to perfection, and the rice fragrant with ginger and garlic. S1. Media. Rice fragrant with ginger and garlic, close-up of fragrant rice being served. 
Dinner is a sacred ritual, a time for connection and shared stories. S2 Media. Family members deeply engaged in dinner conversation, family connecting over meal. As the sun begins its descent, casting a warm glow over the city-state, the Lee family reunites in their cozy flat, the aroma of dinner wafting through the air.